Hey guys, welcome to The Vault. We are back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Jason, Leon, and Pierre here. We're here to preview uh, Crown Legends' uh, next drop. It's called The Art Heist. It's a really cool drop. Um, it's actually based on five uh, pieces of art uh, throughout history. Uh, one of them has actually been stolen and heist heisted. Um, I don't know, I'm making up words here. But uh, we will get into the history of everything. Uh, we'll show you some really cool hats. Um, I think this is a really cool pack. So I hope you guys really enjoy this episode. Uh, Pierre, take it away. Yeah, listen, man, I love Crown Legends. I love Boston. So, um, you know, anytime Crown Legends drops something, I'm really excited. Um, I do believe um, a couple of things. Number one, I know none of us stole that painting. <laughs> the one that's been. Hopefully. I know it wasn't us. Yeah. I do believe that T dot is probably behind it. Okay. He wasn't behind that's... these designs, but I believe he stole that painting. That's, he had a funny that's... look in his eyes. He was telling me about it. He's got too much vested interest in it. Yeah. There's something weird. There's something weird with him. You know, like okay. we were talking about this pack and he lit up and he was very excited to talk about the heist, but Manny's actually the one that was behind the designs of this pack, this five cap mm -hmm. pack. And it starts off, actually, um, with a non-Boston Red Sox hat. So why don't we get started here? All right. Let's do it. I know, Leon, you did your uh, you did your art homework, so you're going to kind of take us through and narrate <laughs> a little bit here. Yeah, finally, uh, art history uh, from grade 12 is paying off. But this is uh, Rembrandt's uh, The Storm on the Sea of Galilee. Um, really cool painting uh, from the 1600s. It actually depicts... Uh, Jesus and his 12 disciples uh, as they kind of brave this storm here. Um, but if you do a head count on the boat, you'll see that there's 14 people. So um, there is a small rumor that uh, I'm going to show you a zoomed in picture um, that uh, Rembrandt painted himself uh, in this uh, painting. So the guy holding the rope with the hat, that kind of poignant, um, that's rumored to be Rembrandt right there. Uh, and this is his oh, one and only okay. seascape uh, he ever uh, painted. Mm. Um, and if you notice the empty frame there, um, that might be T Dot's work. Um, that's where it was stolen out of the Boston uh, Art Gallery in 1990, and it has not been uh, located since. So whereabouts unknown, but they still keep the uh, the empty uh, frame there mm. uh, from the art heist. Oh, if they checked above the couch in T Dot's living room. <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. listen this is a beautiful hat though nice and clean you know it's got this dark slate under visor mm -hmm. that's really cool. clean hat and they use that compass obviously because this is a uh is a a sea, uh, theme. A sea theme right so yeah. really yeah. nice hat that's the only um non-boston cap in the pack so as we move along we're gonna hit the next painting and i'm sure leon you have a good description of this one as well mm. Yeah, Vincent Van Gogh uh, painted the Starry Night. So uh, for those of you who don't know, in uh, 1889, he was actually admitted into a mental asylum uh, in St. Remy, um, where he spent about a year. Um, he was lucky enough that uh, it wasn't a very uh, busy asylum, as there was only 14, uh, uh, 41 patients uh, in this facility. He was able to paint uh, around 150 uh, paintings during his one year stay. And uh, this one is arguably the most famous. So Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. Man, he was cranking them out. It's like mm -hmm. one every two days. Exactly. This is a really nice looking hat too. It is. I love the sneaky two-tone, the yellow highlights. It's got that 2004 World Series patch. Things badass, man. And look, they got a little, uh, a darker button too, Jason. So. Nice. That's cool. Multiple kind of the, for the the buildings there on the the left. Yep, it's a nice looking hat, man. That is. All right, now this one, the next one's argu is arguably my favorite. All right, so we're gonna move to the Renaissance period. Uh, this is the creation of Adam by uh, Michelangelo, uh, arguably the <laughs> best and most famous artist of all time. Uh, located in the Sistine Chapel. Um, yeah. The nine different panels uh, of the the ceiling of the uh, chapel um, depict uh, different points and uh, emphasis of the Book of Genesis. So, 
This is uh, about where God gives life to man. Really, really nice looking hat. See, that gave little... life to this. Our Manny gave life to this hat, that's for sure. And I have a little yep. zoomed in or zoomed out picture so you can see the different uh, panels uh, of, the, of the church. Um, mm. Took a long time to paint that. It wasn't in, in one year, that's for sure. No. This thing is beautiful, man. Yeah. Try stealing that one, T dot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the whole roof. Yeah. Yeah. You can snap a pick, that's about it. But this thing is a beauty. All right. Next up. All right. So this is uh Ret John, Ret John, um, or uh, in English, the fall of Poland. Um hmm. this is uh basically um a protest of the first partition of Poland in 1773. And I'm going to show you guys a, a zoomed out version here. So a lot of uh, political stuff happening here with them um, partitioning Poland. This is the first of three partitions. Uh, a lot of different Russian politics at hand here. And um, So I'm... Um I'm wondering why this painting is this in the Boston Museum of Art or something? Mm, that I don't, I don't think so. Because hmm. I've never actually even heard of this painting before. Yeah, this one was a little bit hard to. Yeah. You get in English. Um, it's a pretty cool painting, though. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, in English uh, explanation, most of the stuff was either in Polish or Russian. The best, um, the best sort of uh, piece of the hat to to see the hook is the side patch. You can kind of get that feel there. Yeah, yeah. With the and they got the curtains. Yeah, this is a nice. This is a very listen. Regardless of hook, this is a really nice hat, man. Sure. Yeah, that's that's how you can tell the the hook is good. Like you take the the hook away, and you still have a fabulous looking hat. Yep. Every one of these hats, man, is something that that I'm I'm happy to have in my in my collection. And last but not least, yeah, <gasps> the scream. So Edward Munch, uh, Norwegian artist in 1893. Um, this was probably uh, one of the most iconic images in art. So you see them kind of yeah. uh, replay this in like Home Alone. Kevin does that kind of pose. Mm -hmm. um, there have been uh two painted versions and two pastel versions both painted versions have been stolen but are recovered since so hmm. the pastel version uh went for auction in 2012 for uh, a measly 119 million. Nine hundred twenty-two thousand dollars in nineteen. Uh, that's a lot of money. Yeah. So that's a lot, a lot of, of stacks. So listen, yep. I I saw someone on Instagram say, "Oh, they really missed." Like, you you understand the the level of execution here mm -hmm. um, has to be considered along with the level of difficulty. Oh, for like, sure. Like to me. This hat, I love the colors. I, I love this hat. The, de the degree of execution here, man, is, is solid considering the complexity here. I mean, look at how, how do you like th this is a tough thing to hook. Right. And it's so that's, there. Though. That's, that's I mean, that's what actually a, a good hat designer is. They can they can look at something, take inspiration from it, but not mm -hmm. take it so literal. Uh, I see a lot of like mock-ups and designs and stuff where they're they're taking the the hook and literally applying colors and, and everything, and it, it turns out the hat isn't as good. This is good. I mean, you, he obviously took inspiration from that painting and made a great hat from it. Not so for I don't sure. Care. Yeah. Listen, and, and this one, like, you got to get it. You got to see it in hand to really appreciate it too. Mm-hmm. There's so many different colors here that just are pulled from that painting. It's, it's a beautiful hat. This is a right. beautiful hat. Take that painting away. Yeah, it's a great hat. You got a beautiful hat. So let's do this, guys. Why don't you guys pick your favorite, and then I'm going to rank them. Okay. Um, I will pick 
uh, the Seattle. Hmm. Really? Yeah. I'm starting to think maybe Leon had something to do with this painting going missing. <laughs> maybe. It's maybe. it's the one it's named after. Um, it's the only non-Boston, I guess. We're playing them tomorrow, so I'm gonna go Seattle. All right, okay. Jason Mead, how about you? Uh, yeah, give me the Sistine Chapel. That's a good. One. Uh, this is this is an amazing hat. Uh, the colors are like spot on. Um creation of adam yeah and i know that i know that's painting can't be stolen yeah that's true fair enough fair enough all right so i'm gonna go number five i'm going here okay that's where i'm going number five i'm sorry he's a boston maybe fan. it's the boston red sox fan in me but this <laughs> yeah. is my number five number four for me starry night Ooh. okay, okay. I do like it. Fantastic. Like I said, every every hat in the pack I like. But this is my number four. Number three for me. How is this pronounced? Ret John? Or so it's not Polish. So yeah. we'll go with it. <laughs> it's spelled R E J T A N. Rayton, maybe. Rayton? Maybe. Whatever. That painting. Polish will, uh, the Polish uh, watchers will correct us. That's my number three. My number two. Solid choice. Also, the the one hit wonder of the art world. This thing's beautiful. I love this hat, man. Mm -hmm. And then my number mm -hmm. one. I'm with you, Jason. It's a t it's kind of a toss up between one and two for me, but I'm leaning this way right now because mm -hmm. you know I love stone, I love two tones, I love pastel colors. Um, I don't really care about that painting to be honest with you, but right. <laughs> I'm the least cultured of us. It was between this and Starry Night for me. Um, okay. The patch, the patch is what came patch puts it on. over. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little pack, right, guys. Mm -hmm. Can't go Absolutely. Wrong. Mm. Well, listen, I appreciate um, Crown Legends as always for providing us with the opportunity to show off their product. Um, I love what they're doing. And just so for all you non Boston fans out there wondering why there are no like hanging socks, because real Boston fans lean towards the B. You know, that's just, that's just the way it is, man. And I think like a lot of people have been clamoring for the B. They've seen. Like the socks became so the the hanging socks became somewhat of a hype logo, honestly. I mean, and and now it's like, you know, the real true Boston fans want the B, and that's what Crown Legends is providing, and they're doing it in a major way. Um, every one of these hats, regardless of hook, I think they did a fantastic job with the hook. But regardless mm -hmm. of hook, all of these hats are are solid, solid hats. So really nice job, to Manny. Um, you know, I, I just I just really enjoy uh, what they're doing over there. So. Um, thank Absolutely. you guys for joining me this evening. I appreciate it. Um, and with that, Leon, big fella, take us away. Yeah, let us know in the comments uh, which which of these um, hats from the Art Heist are your favorite. Um, we'll make sure to put uh, all the social um, links for uh, Crown Legends in, in the comments. Uh, for Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Peace. Enjoy 15% off all products with the code. VFTV15. Brought to you by VFTV.